So in the previous video, we saw how we convert a 32-bit RPT into a 48-bit RPT using a process called as expansion permutation, right? So what exactly happened in expansion permutation is we converted this 32-bit RPT value by adding 16 more bits into a 48-bit value. Now, why we did this? If you see the diagram, according to the diagram, uh, the 32-bit value gets converted into a 48-bit value and that 48 bits value is XORed with some result. If you see the internal diagram of the function, you will see that there is a 32-bit value that is nothing but your original RPT that goes into the expansion permutation phase. So I'm writing expansion over here. Expansion P, which stands for expansion permutation. And you get a 48-bit value. Now you would say, why are we doing this step? What is the significance of this step? If you remember, there is a key which is of size 48. We saw in one of the previous videos how we converted a 56-bit key into a 48-bit key using key transformation functions, right? So from there, we have got a 48-bit key. Now what we do is we XOR this 48-bit key with this new expansion permutation output and we get another 48-bit value. Now, if you see, if you compare the original Feastal architecture, we know that there was a 64-bit value which was converted into two blocks of 32 bits each. Now the question arises. Here we have a 48-bit value and the RPT is having 32 bits value. How then we are going to XOR it or how are we going to uh, encrypt it? So for that purpose, what we do is we have this new step called as S box substitution which converts a 48-bit input again back to a 32-bit value, which will then be exhorted with the LPT and give my result. So that is what we are going to understand in this step called S-Box Substitution. So let's get back and understand what exactly S-Box Substitution is all about. Hello students, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to learn about S-Box Substitution, which comes just after the expansion permutation phase. In the expansion permutation phase, we saw how we are going to um, expand the RPT from 32 bits to 48 bits. And why we are doing this? It is very simple because we have a key corresponding to 48 bits, which is going to be used in each round. So as you can see over here, uh, in the original diagram of uh, uh, facial architecture this is what happens the LPT or the left plane text is of 32 bits and now the output of this function block should also be 32 bits what we have obtained so far is we have obtained a key which is of size 48 we have obtained an RPT which is again of size 48 but at the end we want something of 32 bits so that we can XOR that with the corresponding LPT. So we need to make sure that whatever value which we have obtained so far, we have to convert that into a 32-bit value. And for that, we are going to make use of this step called as S-Box Substitution. It is one of the uh, visually simplest uh, step that you can uh, see in, that you are going to see in DES. So let's have a look what exactly this S-Box Substitution is all about. We'll start with a diagram and let's see if you are able to understand this. So what exactly happens over here is, as we all know, now we are having a 48 bits ka input block. We are going to convert that 48 bit into a 32 bit output. But how to do that? It is exactly opposite to what we saw in expansion permutation. In expansion permutation, we converted a 32 bit RPT into 48 bit value. And again, now we are doing the reverse that is 48 bits again back to 32 bits so for that we are going to make use of this structure or this setup we are having total eight s boxes now what exactly is an s box an s box an s box is nothing but a table that table is again a four bit by 16 bit value so over here we are having this s box in front of you it is a four row by 16 column table. There are in total eight S boxes. Why eight? 
because we are having a 48 bit value and each s box will be having six bits inside it so we are having eight into six that is 48 bits right so that is what is shown over here as you can see in this diagram we are having total eight s boxes starting from s box one till s box eight and each of these s boxes are having six inputs which are getting converted to four bit outputs so in short if we are having six into eight as input at the output side we are going to get four into eight so from 48 bits we are going to convert that into 32 bits that is what we are going to understand how it happens okay so let's get back to this table in front of you as you can see this is nothing but again a four row and 16 column table this is one of the tables we are discussing okay so what exactly happens is as you can see there are six bits input right so let's consider the inputs are something like this 0 1 1 0 1 0 so what is happening over here is this is a 6 bit value we are going to consider the first bit and the last bit over here the first bit and the last bit which is nothing but 0 0 so what will happen the first bit and the last bit is nothing but going to give me the row number so over here we are having four rows each row will correspond to a binary number that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so according to our example the first bit and the sixth bit is 0 and 0 if we had an example 0 1 1 0 1 1 the row number would have been 0 1 but in this case it is 0 0 okay so now what will happen is we are going to refer to 0 0 number row which is nothing but this now what about the column the innermost four bits are going to give me the column number so it is 1 1 0 1 it is nothing but 8 4 2 1 that is 12 and 1 13 so it is nothing but the 13th column or in short if it is starting with 0 as we can see the number is starting with 0 so it is going to be the 13 number column that is present somewhere over here so ideally it is the 14th column so whatever value is present over here at this intersection point of the table that is going to be my new 4 bit value and to make a point over here the all the values which are present inside this table they are in no way more than 15 so all the values will be ranging between 0 to 15 that is how we are going to convert the 6 bit input into a 4 bit output i hope you got the understanding of how we convert the 6 bit input into a 4 bit output over here clear so whatever value is present at this uh, intersection will be my new 4 bit output for that s box so with that I hope you are now in a position to understand what this S box is all about. In the same fashion, there are seven more S boxes and the outputs of all these eight S boxes are combined together to obtain a 32 bit output, right? So that is how we are going to get a 32 bit RPT at this point.